Okay, I wanted to do a quick video today of my solar system. Kind of let everybody know what we have going on here. Um, what it takes to run this little cabin out here. And uh, pretty much does everything we need it to do. So, let's check it out. We have 10 panels here and they run about uh, 320 watts a piece. Uh, which gives us like uh, 3200 watts uh, peak kind of cheaply made these uh, Racks to hold these panels up out of uh, just regular fence posts cut the fence post seaming it in the ground and then uh, ran self tapper screws and basically just Built it to hold these panels here it seems to be working pretty good so far at this point all the wires basically just going from you know one panel to the next panel where they're kind of all ran in a uh, s series of 48 volt and here on the back side we have all the wires basically coming together and going up to uh, a combiner box so then it comes from the combination box to uh, what I call the battery shed. Uh, the battery shed basically holds all the batteries, holds the inverter, and holds the charge controller. This thing is uh, about 300 bucks for this little shed. It's made by Rubbermaid, and so far it's worked out pretty good. So, this is what we have here running the house um, this is eight six volt batteries wired in 48 volts um, we are running a tristar morning star mppt 45 amp uh, charge controller i have the lid off of it here normally this goes here and uh and then uh over here we have an Ames uh, 48 volt inverter charger. Um, it's a 2000 watt. It seriously has more power at 2000 watts than we ever pull in this house. <laughs> battery shed is way over there on the other side of the green trailer I don't know if you can see it it's kind of hid but so there's uh, some direct barrel wire it's six gauge it's ran about 300 foot um, underground here comes all the way up to here and then I've got it going inside here to the fuse box inside the house um, we have the ground wire and ground rods in here so Stepping into the house here, we have our lights. Just want to show you. They're just like shop lights that we got from like Walmart, and uh, well, they're real bright. I don't remember what the lumens are on them, but I mean, they light this place up like crazy. And then uh, we have another one in here, and uh, you know, this stuff is is. Uh, temporary until we get the ceilings in and we put the light fixtures up that we want but it will run these light fixtures it'll run the tv it will run the other bulbs that we have in here uh, you know it runs all this stuff without any problem all day long and we have what is a kind of like a medium-sized refrigerator here um it's 10 10 cubic feet I believe and I, th I think a normal one is uh, 20 cubic feet something like that so yeah, this one is, a, is about half the size I guess of a normal refrigerator in a normal house but uh, it's a small house it's what they call a tiny house so this works out just perfect so, but, uh, anyways, uh, we can run the laptop, um, 
uh, you know, I run all my chargers for my drills and things like that. Um, it runs my CPAP where I, you know, sleep at night. That thing runs all night long. So, and then, uh, you know, I have power tools out in the shed and things like that. Um, and then one of the biggest things I wanted to show you was this, uh, 8,000 BTU air conditioner. Now, uh, a lot of people say, you know, well, how good is this, you know, solar system in the summer? Will it run everything? It will. It will run the air conditioner during the day. It'll have the batteries completely topped off in the summer during the day. By 10 in the morning, the batteries are usually full and topped off from everything we used overnight. And then uh, after that, uh, our batteries are sitting there in float charge and uh, they're not, you know, they're completely topped off and the air conditioner will be running all day long on just the sun. So it's really nice. Um, you know, I could actually, when that sun's out, I could actually hook up three or four of these air conditioners and run them, but we don't need them. I mean, this one gets this place freezing cold in here, but uh, yeah, so uh you know it does really well uh when the sun's out it has a ton of power coming out of the panels and uh enough to run these air conditioners during the day like it's nothing and uh when the clouds come over for a few minutes it'll transfer to the batteries and then when the the uh, clouds get out of the way and it'll transfer right back to the panels and top the batteries right back off and so uh but it really works good you know for that now at night time Nighttime is when we have, uh, you know, it would probably run, I think the one time I did it, it ran about six hours and ran the batteries completely dead. And you don't want to do that. So, um, at nighttime in the summer, if you have to have the air conditioner going, uh, which we usually just have the fans going, we have fans on us all night and it's actually pretty decent. Um, but, uh, there's, there's many nights in the summer where you want the air conditioner going. So we do start the generator on those nights in the summertime. And, uh, we have the generator run just the air conditioner and we run the fans and everything else while we're asleep still off the batteries. And that's pretty much, uh, how it works out here. Now, if we got a bigger battery bank, um, I'm pretty sure we could just run the air conditioners all night long also. I think we'd have to get three times the size battery bank that I have. So my guess would be about 24 six volt batteries to properly sustain uh, 8,000 BTU all night long until it could get power from the sun in the morning and start charging those batteries up. Um, I think something like that would work. Haven't been that far, you know, haven't gotten that far in the testing or anything. So, but anyways, that is going to conclude our solar system. Uh, that's what we're working with now. We do plan on upgrading it uh, in the near future with more batteries to start with and then possibly a few more panels and a bigger charge controller. So we'll see. We'll let you know. Thanks for watching.